Hey there Skin Names and welcome back to the Daily Advice. Today, creative projectiles. So what I was showing you a while back was this shotgunish shell of an exploding barrel kind of thing. Many different uses that sometimes don't always work the best. So what I've tried here is attaching two of these large projectiles to each other and the catapult arm. This is kind of a mass breaker. Mass breaker? Yeah, or chain chain rounds they are used in cannons when taking out enemy masts of pirate ships or just ships in general they'd swing around and the chain would wrap around the mast hopefully and break it into pieces such and such large pirates of the caribbean they use it in there somehow next we have ah oh, that a little no the three balls and one rope or whatever that thing is Three of these smaller balls and these attachment points connected together, all three connected in a semi-triangle fashion and connected to the usual catapult. So this is using the castle or the fort that I have been using lately just as a test subject. So let's see how simple the destructive these things are. So what happened there was one of the attachment points was the main, took the main brunt of the force. Yep, it kind of got taken out. Now that's probably debris. Let's see. <laughs> yes, that is debris. It got the main brunt of the force taken into the wall. So that looks like the usual amount that you would do when throwing. So don't be using these. These are kind of more artistic looking. Kind of fun. If they do include masts or pillars, those could work easily throwing them around and just knocking out all sides of the pillar, but you'd have to be pretty precise on your launching mechanism. So now the second one, the main purpose for this video, the double cannonball with twice the force. Not really. So which one hit it? The smaller one, the second one, the one that was being flailed about all around. So I actually haven't tried using one of the larger cannonballs and let's compare. So that looked like it hit in two places, one place here and the other place there. That is the ideal destruction that would come of this because there are two projectiles. They both get about the same amount of force behind them. That being less than just having one. Let's put a new one in here. So those would be mainly for starting off a siege, I guess, trying to get just broad damage and then when you have certain holes being formed you would use one of these or one of the just going in and throwing stuff at the wall to get more precision and breaking an actual hole in. These would probably be main. The original ones would probably be for testing the wall seeing where the weak points are and just knocking down the weaker points unless you had spies which Oh, nice! Unless the projectile goes over the wall. Nice rambling in between, though. Ew. Ew. <sighs> Not as much damage as I saw in the first one. So, if you have the time and space to make them, try and go along with the double projectile idea. That's two projectiles and one attachment point, rope attachment point. Pretty simple design, and you probably get twice the amount of damage because of the surface area that it attacks at. So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there will be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.